Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, some of you may have seen my um, narrative video, if you like, of uh, the uh, Sigma Showdown conversion that I'm attempting. The figure that uh, I'm going to try and do is the one referred to as Bigun in that narrative. And what I thought is basically I would show you the materials I'm going to use and the, the base figure I'm going to use in in order to create a Bigun as a character for my um, Ogre Destruction Army. So let's just have a look at uh, the bits and pieces. So here you can see a, a pile of stuff that was from the uh, Ogre, Ogre box set, sorry. Um, and this this is what I'm going to be um, I'm going to be grabbing stuff from this pile in order to create my character. I will also be using some uh, of the the add-ons or you know the, the shields and whatever that you can get a separate set of for the Stormcast Eternals because um, Bigun is basically going to be kitted out with a lot of their armor. Uh, I wanted to try and do a second part to the narrative and I may still do that where you get to learn um, or find out why he's um, kitted out wearing their armor in particular but basically um, he, he will be wearing that so the other thing that I mentioned in the early narrative or the first narrative was that he would got like um, a spear um, with a bear trap on the end of it and then in the narrative I mentioned that he was carrying a shield. Now both of these things um, aren't usual for Ogors. You know, they're usually having clubs and swords, big swords. But I just wanted mine to look a bit different. And again, it was part of the narrative as to why he, he was using this particular these particular items. So that's the pile of stuff that I'm going to be um, grabbing from. So let's have a look at the base figure now that I'll be using. So this is the um, the base figure. It's uh, from the uh, Lord of the Rings range. It came from the Mines of Moria box set. And as you may be able to recognise it, although, again, the light's not picking up too well in, on this figure. It's the um, cave troll that was in the film. So the reason I chose him was because, obviously, it's... Uh, quite a muscular figure already but um, I wanted to I needed a figure that was taller than your standard ogre because that was the whole point of why he was called Bigan so let me just grab an ogre and uh, compare him in size so here we have a bellower that I've just uh, painted up and this is um, this is Bigan or what will be Bigan alongside him and as you can see his uh, head and shoulders are taller now, one of the problems I have with this figure is, I don't know whether you can make that out, but it's like um, scales or whatever on the skin. And I don't really want that to, on, on the figure I'm going to create. So I may have to either try and fill that in uh, with green stuff or whatever, or try and sand it down. But uh, I'm not, you know, I only use green stuff in order to fill gaps. I've, I've never done any uh, sculpting as such. So it'll just be interesting to see if I can achieve anything decent. Anyway guys, um, thanks ever so much for uh, watching this video and uh, I hope to have an update really soon because there is only five days left in order to, to get my entry in. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up with you soon.